I'm Koya Webb, and I'm going to show you how to make my red wine. Or it's not really wine, but it's like a red drink that I love to make. It's healthy. I use cranberries, and I use red apples, and I use an inch of ginger. And an inch of ginger is just the size of your thumb. So if you can measure it, that's an inch. Okay? And I'm also going to put some stevia in it to sweeten. So I'm using a juicer called the Breville. I love the Breville because I can catch the pulp. And I love, especially out of this dish, I love making red velvet cake or cookies. Or if I'm juicing carrots, I can make carrot cake. Or if I'm juicing green vegetables, I can make a bread. So I love the Breville juicer. It's absolutely amazing. So let's get started. We're going to get started by just putting the apples just directly into the blender. And what I'm going to do, actually the juicer, I'm sorry. So we're going to put it into the juicer. And it's really great to have juice. I really don't juice as much as I should because it takes a little more time and I'm all about quick and easy. But especially if you're sick or if you're going through something, it's really important to juice because it's the quickest way to get all the nutrients you need. Um, but if you're on maintenance and you're pretty healthy, you know, juicing every once in a while is just great to get because juices are amazing. But definitely if you're sick or if you're fighting a cold or if you have another terminal il illness, make sure you're juicing because you're going to get all the, all the nutrients you need really quickly. Okay, so what I've done is I've basically pushed as much as I can into the blender because the juicer, because it's a really powerful juicer, and then I'm just going to juice it down. How easy was that? So now I'm going to put the rest of the cranberries in it. <laughs> it looks like popcorn. You kind of have to wait till the juicer slows down or you'll have like things flying everywhere. So you want to wait a little bit. And then don't forget your ginger. I'm going to put the ginger in there. And we'll wait for the stevia after if we even want it sweet. So I'm going to just blend the ginger and the rest of the cranberries. <laughs> Another thing about juicing, you can juice a lot and you might only get a little. So that was two cups of cranberries, two small red apples, and an inch of ginger. And I think we have enough to fill a small wine glass. So I'm just going to tip this over a little bit to make sure I got all the juice. Just a little bit. All right, and now we're going to pour it into our glass. Awesome. And as you can see, that was just enough to make us a nice red glass. I didn't know how much it would make, but that just made us a nice red glass of red wine. So I'm going to have a taste. Mm. It tastes so amazing. Uh, last time I made this, I put stevia in it, but sometimes it's the quality of your apples. Uh, because this is really sweet by itself. So this is, this one little glass is two cups of cranberries, two small red apples, an inch of ginger, and a lot of love. And enjoy. Mmm. This might be a small glass, but it has a lot of nutrients.